Fred SBU cell transfer station just last week. A battery caused a fire just inside those doors. It's this type of incident and hazard that sparked a new rule in banning batteries from garbage. A new trend has been blowing up. You name it, anything that carries a battery in it, We've probably had a fire in it over the last couple of years. Seattle Fire Chief Harold Scoggins says the department has responded to 79 fires involving lithium batteries the last two years. He says since 2021, there's also been a surge in fires involving batteries when it comes to waste. Whether it's been in the back of a garbage truck or at the transfer station. So those eight are directly related to the waste. So that's pretty important to note. And three of them we have confirmed that are related to batteries, but the other five of that eight are probably related to battery fires also. It's these incidents and the potential chemical hazards batteries pose that convince Seattle Public Utilities to enact a new rule, banning all batteries from Seattle garbage. They'll leave a tag and let the customer know that that item isn't allowed in the garbage, and the customer will need to remove that item in order for the garbage to be collected safely. SPU says it won't be handing out any fines to customers who don't follow the new rule and admit workers simply don't have the time to be going through people's trash to hold them accountable. There really isn't any way for our staff to do that practically and, you know, collect all of the city's garbage and recycling. So we're really counting on residents and businesses to do their part. SBU says when it comes to disposing batteries, customers can drop off batteries at SBU's north or south transfer stations and household waste management facilities or they can request a special item pickup at their home. Although this new rule was announced today, it has been in effect since the beginning of the year. For now in Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.